Here I'll show you how to solve this problem for x. What seems like a simple problem is actually a bit more difficult. So we have x to the x is equal to 2. When I see a variable to itself, the first thing I think of is if a to the a is equal to b to the b, then a is equal to b. We have an a to the a over here, x to the x, but can we change this, this 2, into a b to the b? So what number to itself will give you 2? Well, 1 to 1 will just give you 1, and 2 to the 2 will give you 4. So it lies somewhere in between 1 and 2. But what exactly? Well, you can guess at it, or we can use something called the Lambert W function. is x e to the x is equal to x. Well, w is a function. This is the equation we use to get it. Okay. Um, well, to first set this up, we want to get this, this here into the form x e to the x is equal to c, where c is a constant. Well, we have the constant on this side already, so we have to change this into x e to the x. Well, we start by taking logarithms on both sides. x e to the x is equal to log of 2. So these two are equivalent. You can bring down the x over here and we have x natural log of x is equal to natural log of 2. And from the formula e to the natural log of x is equal to x. So we can substitute this x with this. So we have in substitution e the natural log of x bring this down natural log of x is equal to natural log of 2. So we have the form over here x e to the x where x is natural log of x. So natural log of x, e to the natural log of x. We have this form, and so we now can use the w function on both sides. So we take the Lambert w function of natural log of x, e to the natural log of x is equal to Lamberg of natural log of 2. So now that we have it in this form, the Lambert W function gives you the x. And the x over here is the log, natural log of x. So this here is equal to the natural log of x. And that is equal to the Lambert function of natural log of 2. Okay, we still have, need one more step to get x by itself. Well, we take e to both sides of this. We get e the natural log of x is equal to e to the w of natural log of 2. Well, e to natural log of x is just equal to x. So x is equal to e to the w of natural log 
of 2. And this is the answer. But just say, wait a minute, um, it's supposed to be between 1 and 2. So how do we change this into a precise figure? Well, we go to a website called Wolf Fram Alpha dot com. And there you plug in E to the product log of natural log of 2. You change the W into product log. So you'd be E to the product log of LN of 2. And this will approximately equal 1.559. So for those of you who thought it was probably 1.5, yeah, it's a rough estimation. This is a little more precise. So thank you for listening. Please like and subscribe.